rotisserie style ribs on the El Charro. That's right, folks, we got some spare ribs, and we're just gonna do a very simple trim up. I've got a couple of videos for rib trim if you wanna take a look at them right in there. And all we're gonna do with these, get it out of the package, trim up anything that's loose, spread it with a little bit of sriracha and some Uncle Steve's competition pig powder. If you haven't heard of Uncle Steve's or you haven't tried it yet, what are you waiting for? It's pretty awesome. So we're gonna take that and we're gonna put it on a skewer for our El Charo. Now I've got a fire lit up underneath that bad boy, and we're gonna turn it on medium speed and get it stuck on there and check on it every 15 to 20 minutes. Let's get it seasoned up. So we've got these all seasoned up. We got a little sriracha and Uncle Steve shake. Now we're gonna get it stuck on the skewer. Let me show you how I'm gonna do this. We take our skewer, we're gonna put it between the bones, about two bones in, and then we're gonna scrunch it up. And go up three bones, plug it in. Up three bones, plug it in. Up three bones and plug it in. Just like so let's get it stuck on the El Charo, get it cooking. So our El Charo rotisserie style ribs are pulled off that Uncle Steve shake and that sriracha uh, binder that we put on there. It's actually made a really beautiful texture, color, and finish on these ribs. So I'm gonna let these cool off. When we come back, we're gonna be sliced up and ready to taste. So before I start cutting on these, let's go ahead and do a quick recap. All we did was take and slice off the breastbone and all the cartilage off the top of these spare ribs, and then we took and skewered them. Now, you may have noticed a little difference in the look of the ribs. That's because I think I went a little too far in. It was a little too much ribs, so I ended up cutting three ribs off the end, the small end that were flopping around and uh, put them on the El Charo. Now, there's not really a way to gauge the temperature the way I have my El Charo set up, so I just had an open fire, and I'll adjust the speed as it goes to see how fast or slow it needs to move according to the heat underneath it. Every 20 minutes or so, I did spritz it with some I can't believe it's not butter, and after about an hour and a half, it was ready to pull off and rest. So I pulled it off, stuck it in a foil pan, sprayed it with that can't believe it's hot butter and it's about time to go ahead and lay it over slice it up now when I slice this up I'm gonna hit it with another dusting of Uncle Steve's shake I want to get some extra flavor on there uh, just anything that maybe have fallen off because of the spritz and the flames and all that good stuff and I mean let's just face it Uncle Steve's shake is just really good so let's let these cool off flip them over get them cut up like dusty check them out taste them guys the time has come to give these a try and I could not be more excited about it they're nice and juicy 
they're not like what you would expect to see out of a smoker because they're not cooked the same way. It's more of a grill, uh, open fire cook with the El Charo. It's just a completely different style, but I know the flavor is going to be amazing. Let's go ahead and take a bite. Nice bite through. You get that little steam shake. You get a little um, smokiness, but not not the same as regular smoking it. And uh, that sriracha kick at the end. It's pretty good, guys. If you don't have an El Charo, you may check it out. It's pretty amazing. You can check it out at the outdoor store. Really good. Ribs, rotisserie style on the El Charo. Steve Shake. Risk Medic. Drink more water. I love you.